Well, I think we want to hear what is their vision for the future and what do how are they going to address issues of concern to the Latino community? The economy, jobs, immigration, right. education, health, uh, you know, housing. All of those are issues that are top of mind for many in our community, and we want to hear what they have to say, and I think we're very eager to, to welcome them. Yeah, yeah. Um, did you reach out to Republicans? I mean, I think some people are going to say, yeah. oh, no, it's all stacked for the Democrats, but I, uh, I, my yeah. guessing that wasn't the case. <laughs> Absolutely, and we've had, we did invite all the Republican, all the major Republican right. uh, uh, party candidates for president. Uh, they all at this very same time, had scheduling conflicts. So right, right. it's unfortunate because I think our um, uh, you know, attendees would like to hear from folks on both sides of the aisle. And we have heard from presidential candidates before at our conference, so it's really disappointing we're not going to hear yeah. them. At NCLR, the National Council of La Raza, we're a nonpartisan organization. We have Republicans who serve on our board of directors, who work in our affiliates. I mean, we really do want to hear from folks on both sides, and I think it's a missed opportunity uh, for the Republicans.